just being able to come to the games in middle school and kind of see the environment. It was just like seeing a big league game whenever I was that young. And, you know, it was always uh, one of my top schools that I wanted to go to. I had a, a picture on my iPad, almost like a vision board of schools that I wanted to go to, and they were one of those schools. So, you know, talking to them and coming down here and seeing the facilities, it was like an easy choice after that. Christian arrived in Fayetteville right after Arkansas's runner-up appearance at the 2018 College World Series. He says the experience he gained that fall prepared him to start in 2019. Stepping on the campus, I was, you know, really nervous out there. Um, I think, you know, just with experience and learning a lot about myself, I've been able to, you know, slow the game down, not get sped up as much. Being able to be around those older guys, they did a great job of, you know, mentoring me. And it was great to play against them and that cal uh, hit against that caliber of arms, you know, it really got me ready for the following season. And, you know, I think if I wasn't playing against those guys in the, in the fall, I wouldn't have had the success that I did. But being able to, you know, expose myself to that type of competition before even getting into SEC play helped a lot. And one of the things that Coach Van Horn says as soon as everyone gets on campus is, it doesn't matter if you're the youngest guy on campus or the, or the oldest. Uh, if you're going to contribute to the team, he's going to put you in the lineup. So, you know, don't waste your freshman year being scared. Go out there and play your game. And if you're good enough, he's going to put you in the lineup so you can contribute. Christian was named to the SEC All-Freshman Team in 2019 after playing in 64 games and hitting 274 with 34 RBIs and six home runs. I thank the coaches a lot for having trust in me and letting me play uh, left field my uh, freshman year because, I mean, that's huge for me being able to come in and get that experience just so that I know what I need to work on going into the following years. And, you know, I've just been able to keep building on that. So it's felt really good to get here and to be able to contribute the way I have. Christian made the move over to center field after Dominic Fletcher was drafted in 2019. He understands the lineage of great Razorbacks that have played that position before him, like Fletcher and Andrew Benintendi. Center fielders are held very highly here, and just to follow in those guys' footsteps means a lot. And um, I'm excited to be able to be out there and you know do what I can this year. If you watch him take batting practice now compared to last year and the year before, it just seems easy for him. His swing is really good. It continues to get better. Uh, he has power to all fields. I mean, he can hit a he can hit a breaking ball over the new building in right field. He can pull the ball, you know, 425, 430 feet. He's got a, you know, a lot of talent, and he's a great person. And now, as a veteran that's seen a lot of baseball on this level, Christian has developed into a leader. It's nice to be on the older side of things, you know, as a freshman, uh, seeing those leaders on the team like Isaiah Campbell, you know, he set a really big example for me and, you know, now kind of being in his shoes, uh, I just try to set a good example uh, on the field for those younger guys and even just, you know, talking to them, talking through the games whenever I can just to help them out as well. He's a leader uh, probably more by actions than, than verbal. He can get, uh, he can get it, get with you a little bit, but for the most part, he's just going to show you how to do it. And uh, he hustles and works hard, and uh, he, he's a good teammate. And he's a teammate on a lineup that is producing at a high level right now. Christian says he's excited to see what they can do at the plate this year. You know, one through through nine, anybody can beat you with a home run. We got a lot of great hitters, and you know, I think the the really good thing about our lineup is you know there's going to be a lot of quality at bats and a lot of tough ABs. There's not going to be any at bats where a pitcher's going to be like, "Ooh, like I can finally relax." No, you got to be locked in uh, every single person. So. It's awesome to, to see this lineup. You know, the, the thing that I like the most about this team is, you know, the chemistry that we have. It reminds me a lot of uh, my freshman year, uh, the team that went to Omaha. You know, we got a lot of different ages, but everybody connects really well. So I'm excited to see what this team can do. And the, per the pitch is hit high in the air, twisting into right center, hit very well, got a chance, and it's out of here. And Christian Franklin has homered for his third consecutive game. He's a hardworking kid that he's always, he's one of the last to leave every day, if not the last. And he stays and does extra work. And I think he's kind of got this routine he's in. I think it makes him feel good about everything he's doing, that he's putting in his best effort his last year here. Now I'm just trying to stay level-headed and then keep working and improving in my game, you know. I like to look back and think of where I've come from. And I mean, it's, I've come a long way, but you know, I, I still have a long ways to go. So I'm gonna keep working and keep improving as a baseball player and then, you know, uh, make my goal of making it to the major leagues in the future.